So how much do I spend per week as a full-time 22 year old entrepreneur? Let's find out. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Yash. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. I hope each and every single one of you guys is absolutely having a great day and a great week. For those of you guys that don't know me or haven't been on my channel, my name is Yash. On this channel, we talk all things e-commerce, digital marketing, and entrepreneurship. I've mainly been in the e-commerce dropshipping and digital marketing space over the last few years, and I have been doing it full-time ever since I graduated college not too long ago. So even though I may not be one of those high school or college dropouts that became full-time internet gurus, and we're gonna be teaching you how to make money on Instagram. I still run several e-commerce businesses myself. I also have a digital marketing agency and also some other businesses on the side that are bringing me income every single month. Now, I obviously love what I do. I literally breathe this shit every single day. And I wanted to make a video super transparent with you guys as to what I spend on a weekly basis in my business. And yes, these are all my expenses amongst all my businesses, whether they be big or small. I figured I'd shed some light and give you some honest insight as to what goes behind the back scenes in operating six and seven figure businesses. So guys, sit back, relax, and take some notes as we dive into this video. And of course, last but not least, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are with that post notification bell turned on so you guys are updated with all recent videos. And while you're at it, if you do wanna get your good deed of the day out the way and done with, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Go down and absolutely smash that like button so this video can help and reach as many people as possible. So I do wanna start Sunday as the first day of the week, at least that's how I look at it. So September 20th was day one, and on that day itself, I spent $348.50 on Facebook ads. I do use the Facebook platform as my main means of advertising to drive traffic and obviously sales to my e-commerce stores. And that was for my store one and for the store two, which I am in the process of scaling pretty quickly right now. I spent $2,550.79 for Facebook ads. I do use Shopify as a hosting platform for all of my e-commerce stores or at least for these two that I have listed right here. So for the monthly subscription plan, it is $29 for the basic plan. And I do have some paid apps on the platform as well that I utilize. So with store one and store two, that would come out to about $4.75 if we considered it for one day of how much it would cost me. Furthermore, I also heavily utilize some of these subscriptions like ClickFunnels, FreshBooks, DocuSign, Small PDF, Calendly, Zoom, and Loom for my business on a day-to-day -day and weekly basis. And if we count that as a per day expense, it comes down to $5.56. I also have a virtual assistant that works for both of my e-commerce stores, and she primarily takes care of order fulfillment and customer service for me so I can work a little bit more on the business than in the business. You know, I'd rather spend and utilize my time and energy onto other aspects of growing the revenue instead of tedious tasks as such. And that day itself, I paid her $23. Usually she works about two to six hours a day, depending you know, on the volume and depending on how much work there is to be done. And I only pay her a few bucks an hour. I absolutely love my virtual assistant. I'm honestly blessed to have her onboarded onto my stores. I rarely have to check anything more than once. That day, I also got some Facebook ad creative, specifically some video ads and some thumbnails for the store number two, this one that I am scaling. And I paid $155. I actually use a really good video ad creation company called Ecom Creations. One of my buddies, Scott, actually owns it. So if you're into drop shipping and you need, you know, Facebook creatives, Snapchat creatives, TikTok creatives, 
whatever it really may be, videos, pictures, thumbnails, I will be leaving a link where actually you can get 10% off by using my code YASH10 in the description below. Again, I've utilized them for multiple, multiple, multiple stores and their creatives have really given me multiple six figures in revenue in return. So I highly recommend checking them out if you do want a creative for any social media platform that I mentioned before. The total spending for Sunday, September 20th came out to $3,087.60. Geez, I absolutely love Mondays, even though that may be a little bit weird to some of you guys. And that's because I always like to go ahead first into Mondays, usually depending on how you react to things, how much you're working, how productive you are, so on and so forth, depending on those factors and variants, the rest of the week's tone will be set. That's why I always like to go with everything planned and I absolutely unleash the beast when it comes to Mondays. Anywho, on Monday, September 21st, I spent $438.60 on Facebook ads for my first store. So I did scale just a little bit, not too much. And for store two, I spent $4,240.80 when it came to Facebook ads. So that is a little bit of an increase than what I spent yesterday. For the Shopify plan and apps, that does stay consistent because I do get billed monthly for them. So for that, it cost me $4.75. And for all my business related subscriptions, that cost me $5.56. And again, for my virtual assistant that day to fulfill orders and to handle customer service for both of my stores, that cost me about $18, give or take. The total for Monday the 21st came out to be $4,707.11. On Tuesday, September 22nd, you can see I didn't really scale my Facebook ads too much. I rarely scale a lot during the beginning of the week, and you'll see kind of where I go towards the end of the week in terms of my Facebook ad spending. But anywho, on store one, that was $498.60. And on store two, I spent $4,231.80. Again, with the Shopify plan and apps, $4.75, that stays the same. And for the business-related platform subscriptions, that stays at $5.56 for that day. For this day, I paid my virtual assistant $23.00. And I also had a little bit of an online shopping spree on Best Buy where I purchased some office goods and some electronics and stuff like that that I needed for my home office over here. And that came out to be $345.37. And just to note, I can write most of these things off as business related expenses. So that is the good thing. For Tuesday spending, it came out to be $5,109.08. As we're approaching midweek on Wednesday, September 23rd, the first store spent $902.10 on Facebook. You can see I did almost double the budget because I did want to start aggressively scaling this store as well. And for store two, we also went up a little bit in terms of the budget on Facebook. And I ended up spending $5,248.03 with the Shopify plan and apps. Again, $4.75. Business related subscriptions that stayed at $5.56. My virtual assistant does tend to work a little bit less during the middle of the week. So for that day, I paid her $15 for order fulfillment and customer service for store one and for store two. I do use a private shipping agent and order fulfillment center for both of my stores. I do not use AliExpress or anything like that, guys. ePacket is almost dead. So if you're watching this, and if you do wanna get into dropshipping, guys, make sure you do not end up using AliExpress. Your customers are going to wait months and months and months for their products, and you're gonna end up getting you know disputes and chargebacks and refunds and just a lot of angry hate customer emails. Once you do pick up some traction on your e-commerce store, once you get some consistent sales, you can easily transition to a private shipping agent, a order fulfillment center, you know, a 3PL service and whatnot, really whatever is the best fit for your business. That's why I use, you know, for both of my stores, a private shipping agent slash fulfillment center so I can get better tracking information, you know, more quicker communication, I would say, you know, better shipping lines, better shipping times, 
you know, cheaper product costs and whatnot. You know, I also get some quality control done for my products to ensure, you know, they're in good condition and not defective when they're getting shipped out to my customer. Usually my private shipping agent sends me an invoice the middle of the week. And usually he sends me that invoice for six to 10 days worth of orders. And that day it came out to be $18,780.00. 98 cents for both store one and for store two. I believe for store two, the total was more like 13 or $14,000 because again, that's doing way higher in volume as you can see just by the ad spend I'm spending. Yes, for Wednesday, that number you're looking at is how much I ended up spending at $24,956.42. Now, as we're approaching the end of the week, on September 24th, I spent $760.10 on Facebook ads for the first store. You can see I did scale down a little bit from Wednesday because here was when I was really trimming off the fat from the ad account, really turning off my unprofitable campaigns and ad sets and whatnot. So I did want to take a little bit of a step back to take a few steps forward when it came to the weekend. For the second store, I ended up spending $5,188.03 through Facebook. And now, by the way, if you do have a question as to how I'm able to spend more than $5,000 on this one ad account, and that's because Facebook usually does not let you spend, you know, more than five grand. You know, it usually has a cap by default. But luckily, I do have a Facebook rep on hand. You know, I have his email. I have his contact information. So all I really did was ask him if, you know, they can lift that cap up to maybe ten or $12,000 per day if I do scale. And if I do really get to that point, and, you know, they did that within 18 to 24 hours, so that was absolutely amazing. If you do not have a Facebook chat rep on hand, you can easily go ahead and talk to a customer service rep or even submit a support ticket. And more than likely, if you have good payment history and no violations on that ad account, they should be able to increase that daily spending for you on that specific ad account. Again, that's just a little bit of an FYI, especially for my intermediate and advanced dropshippers that are currently watching this. When it comes to the Shopify plan and apps, again, that stays the same, $4.75. The business subscriptions, $5.56 when it comes to all of these beautiful and helpful platforms. That day, I did pay my virtual assistant $22 for order fulfillment and customer service. And for those of you guys that don't know or haven't been following me, I do Instagram influencer marketing here and there, especially when it comes to Q4, because it is very opportunistic to capitalize from. That's actually how I started marketing, you know, for my dropshipping stores about three years ago when I got into the space. Only with Instagram influencer marketing, I then moved and transitioned onto Facebook ads a little bit after I would say like my ninth or 10th month because Facebook ads is where the scalability and the consistency in sales comes. So that day I did pay that Instagram influencer $750 for a 24 hour story post with swipe up and also a feed post. Now keep in mind, this is a personal influencer, so it was a little bit more money. You can easily find influencers for $50, $100, even $30. And obviously, even though I paid her that day, she was going to basically schedule the shout out the week after on Tuesday or Wednesday. With influencers, you do have to pay these guys up front. It's really not like Facebook, how you, know, you can really manage your ad spend every day and just kind of spend a selective amount every single day and you know get those results on the same day right with influencer marketing you know the promotion usually happens a few days after you know just to kind of get that out there the good thing is that i have utilized this influencer in the past before so you know she has really good engagement rate and uh, i believe last time like i paid her 600 and something dollars her rates are a little bit higher now and my revenue in return was like $3,000 or $4,000. So again, um, this is like one of my favorite influencers I always utilize every few months, especially in Q4, you know, where there's a lot of people on social media usually trying to buy stuff. For Thursday, my total spending came out to be $6,730.44. It was a little bit higher, especially because I threw in some additional marketing costs through the influencer, like I just mentioned. And Friday, one of my favorite days of the week, on September 25th, I did scale the ad spend of my first dropshipping store 
to one thousand one hundred ninety eight dollars and forty five cents so did i scale the ad set for store two that came out to be five thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars and eleven cents usually between thursday and friday or somewhere around kind of that time frame i do scale my ad spend a little bit more because it is the weekend usually friday saturday and sundays are the three best days for my e-commerce stores on that specific day, I did pay my virtual assistant a little bit more to make sure you know she's done with all order fulfillment and all customer service because it is the end of the week. So I did end up paying her $25. She usually spends a little bit more time on my stores, you know, just handling everything when it comes to Fridays. And that same day also paid Ecom Creations, which like I said, I'll have a link in the description below. If you do want any ad creatives for TikTok, Facebook especially and Snapchat. So I paid them $75 to get a few creatives for my first store. I always like to, you know, test and change up different creatives and see what's working and see what's not working. Facebook always likes, you know, when you're giving it new creatives, new fresh creatives, I would say. For those of you guys that may not know, I also run and operate a digital marketing agency called Streetline Media. We primarily work and serve small and medium-sized e-commerce business owners. So I do have two media buyers for my agency that basically handle the onboarding, you know, the managing, the scaling, the budgeting of these e-commerce clients. And we do offer Facebook ads for them. So I do pay them on a month to month basis, basically. And it's pretty standard because I only work with a small group of clients that really fit and represent our company culture. So on that day, I did pay both of them and it came out to be $4,400. And if you really count it for an exact day, because I do pay them again every 30 days on a month to month basis, it would come out to be $146.67. That means that is how much it is costing me per day to have them onboarded on my team. On Friday, my total cost slash expenses came out to be $11,705.87. Now, if you do disregard that big one-time payment of $4,400 to my media bars, and if you just consider you know, a daily kind of cost of how much it is for me to have them on my team, that would come down to $7,000. $452.54 and I do and am going to be considering that because we're talking about you know a day-to-day -day spending because this is a weekly video. On Saturday, my second favorite day of the week, September 26th, I did spend $1,192.74 for store one through Facebook. And for store two through Facebook, I spent $5,992.02. You can see there's really not much of a large increase. It's basically the same from Friday. I usually don't scale my ads too much when it comes to Friday to Sunday. I instead just let it ride out the momentum because those are my best three days. So again, I don't want to make too many changes and whatnot and really kind of just mess up the optimization and momentum, like I said, of the ads that are currently active and running. Shopify plan and apps, again, $4.75. The subscriptions, $5.56. That day, I also had a lunch meeting with a potential business partner. So that expense is written off, or almost all of it is written off, I would say. And that came out to be $42 as I did pay for the lunch. And for gas in my car, I did pay $25. That is also written off as I did use miles for a business meeting. For Saturday, my total spending came out to be $7,762.07. So my total spend from September 20th to September 26th was $59,805.26. And just to note, this is not how my typical week looks like in terms of business expenses. Usually it's a little bit on the lower end, I would say anywhere from like twelve, fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars. And primarily my biggest expense is Facebook ads. That is my bread and butter. And that is what I utilize to drive sales, to drive revenue 
to my e-commerce store or stores that I'm running at the current moment. The reason why I almost spent $60,000 this given week is because I have one store scaling super aggressively through Facebook ads. Now, obviously I need to feed Facebook money if it's spitting back money to me, right? So that's why you can see that I was spending like 4,000, 5,000, almost $6,000 per day on this individual ad account for this particular store. Honestly, when it does come to Q for the last three months of the year, my week to week expenses in terms of business expenses are pretty much the same or if not more. This Q4, it may be even a little bit more as I am trying to break a lot of my personal numbers, a lot of my personal records from last year in terms of how much revenue I'm going to be generating per day. It's a super fun process for me. Obviously, you know, I'm not just blowing all this money. Obviously, I am in profit. You know, I am generating revenue in return on a day to day and weekly basis, obviously a monthly basis. So, you know, it's not like I'm just spending $60,000 and like profiting $2,000, right? Or it's not like I'm spending $60,000 all down the gutter, right? I mean, who would even really do that? Oh, what are you talking about, man? Again, I just wanted to be super transparent with you guys. I think, I believe these are all my business expenses. I may have missed a few small expenses, you know, here and there, or some unexpected expenses that come, you know, with just running a business. So, you know, all that's totally normal, but these are like my biggest consistent expenses when it comes to day to day and weekly spending. And just a quick note, because I may get comments about this, these are only my business expenses. I have not factored my personal expenses at all. And anyway, guys, like my personal expenses aren't this much at all, like not even close on a day to day basis, let alone a weekly or a monthly basis. And there you guys have it, guys. Those are my expenses on a day to day basis, making up one entire week. Now, obviously, keep in mind, week to week, my expenses do fluctuate depending on the drop shipping stores I'm running, how aggressively I'm scaling. You know, maybe I'm hiring more people on my team. Maybe I'm onboarding more clients on my agency. You know, all these factors and variants do come into play as to how much my weekly spending is amongst all my businesses. Regardless, I wanted to give you guys an overview as to what goes out of my pocket or my bank account every single week. By the way, if you do wanna see a video as to what my weekly spending is as a 22 year old seven figure dropshipper, comment down below and I can definitely make one of those videos. I think it'd be very fun to make. Besides that, if you guys do have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, absolutely do not hesitate and comment down below as I do reply to each and every single one of you guys. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.